everyone welcome back guys today in this video we are going to see the percentage of grand total in power bi so uh, power bi has inbuilt function to calculate this percentage of gt so we'll see that and second thing we'll be seeing the same thing using the dax function so basically we'll be uh, calculating the percentage of grand total using two different ways one is inbuilt method and another one is in uh, DAX method so let me quickly bring all the three data set that I have that is date table product and sales table so first I am importing the date table it will quickly get loaded into the power bi so let it get loaded into the power bi it will take few moments yeah it has been loaded now now I'll be importing the product table I'm quickly getting into this model and loading all the data sets one by one and then I'll be connecting and will create a model basically so that will help us to do the all this DAX query DAX performance in this Power BI model as you can see it has been loaded into the Power BI and let me go to the table and let me show you the all the attributes that are present in all the tables this is for the product this is for the sales let me some of the sales it is intentionally left blank for the calculation purpose so this is the table let me quickly go to the model and i'll collapse this properties pane i'll bring this many side to the bottom i'll connect this date table with the sales table so that we can create the connection between two tables so i'll drag this date attribute to the sales date in the sales table and as you can see it has created one to many relationship and let me go back to the report view and will before that i'll expand all the tables so that you can see all the attributes that are present in this each table let me bring a matrix over here and i'll show you the first method using the percentage of grand total that are present as inbuilt function in the power bi so i'll click on this matrix and i'll bring first the product name as you can see uh, it will it has populated over here i'll expand a bit so that it will accommodate all the all other attributes i'll bring this total sales and right now it is showing the total sales for each of these products so what I'll do, I'll take one more time the same total sales attribute over this value fields and as you can see there is some arrow button is there. So I'll click one time over here. I'll hover over on this show values as. As you can see that there are many options are there along with percentage of grand total. So I'll click on percentage of grand total and it will convert into the percentage of grand total and as you can see there are, uh, it has been calculated for all the all of the each of the products so uh, so what i'll do i'll uh, compare this percentage of uh, grand total in the excel as well so as you can see that 27 inches 4k gaming monitor it has 3.08 so i'll go back to the table sales table i'll copy and I'll rename just to show you that how it is exactly same that we have imported into the power bi so I'll write it as percentage of grand total that is gt underscore sales table so let me open this and I'll filter it out only the 27 inches so uh, I'll show you how to uh, to the, perform the grand total in the excel so before that we have to do the sum we have to do the calculation for total grand total so to do that i'll be choosing the sum and i'll select entire range d2 to d85 hit enter and 
you can see that total sum that is 299595437 let me select the delimiter as comma so that it will be looks nice right now what i'll do i'll uh, i'll put the equal sign and i'll try to calculate the percentage of grand total so i'll choose d2 and i'll go way down because that's that's a cell containing the grand total i'll press f4 and hit enter key it has come as value error because there is no amount nothing is there so i'll put zero so that it will calculate as zero percentage of, of the grand total so what i'll do i'll drag it to the entire cells and it has been calculated what i'll do it is not showing in the percentage of uh, in a percentage sign so i'll multiply this with 100 so i'll wrap this up with the first and first bracket and i'll multiply it with 100 and i'll drag through the entire sales so that it will convert the sales into the percentage of grand total so let me uh, format this in into the percentage so i'll as you can see that 27 inches 4k gaming monitor it has 3.08 so what i'll do i'll select here 27 inches 4k gaming monitor you click on ok if i add it up it is giving us 3.08 which is exactly matching that was present in this power bi report so let me do the dax way using the dax method tax function so i'll click on new measure and first i'll do as you can see that granted I'll, I'll be calculating first the grand total as we calculated using some function in the excel so i'll write it as overall i'll write it as overall sales and i'll come to the second line and i'll write the calculate function and expression i need it as sum and i'll be choosing that total sales because we want to do this sum on total sales i'll be choosing the all selected and in this case we'll be choosing the product name because that we want to do the calculation of total sales based upon the product name i'll click hit enter like I'll, I'll hit enter and it will give the grand total the sum of the total and it is using all selected so i'll be writing this uh, measure as all selected all underscore selected and this will give the grand total in each for each product name let me bring this to the uh, visual as you can see it is repeating value so right now what i'll do i'll i'll take another new measure and in this case i'll be calculating the percentage of grand total so let me write this as percentage of gt which is grand total so i'll come to the next line and i'll write it as divide so basically we are performing the arithmetic the division function so same thing i'll be choosing uh, sum of total sales and i'll close this bracket that is that will act as a numerator and in denominator i'll be choosing this overall sales that already we have made as a different attribute so i'll choose this and i'll close this bracket and hit enter and as you can see it has appeared so let me bring to the visual and it is giving so i'll convert this into percentage and after clicking this as you can see it has exactly same value that we have calculated using inbuilt function so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye